um, for the BBL procedure. So I, instead of doing like the pads that a lot of girls are getting, like the poise pads, because it's like cheaper for right. the blood drainage, instead of like what we would use in a medical setting, which is an ABD pad that absorbs a lot of blood and drainage, I prepared some pads. So this is just like the inside of what a brief would be. And it's like a thicker, oh, just for that the is so pack. good. So to have. for any drainage from your incisions or blood, to soak that up. And then this is a fabric soaker that could go under oh, the mattress. Yep. So just in case any drainage and blood when you're sleeping, we don't mess up this beautiful, beautiful water mattress. <laughs> And as well as the disposable ones. Okay. So a lot of girls are buying puppy pads to save money, but they're all essentially the same thing. It's a disposable. Chuck. So how would we let people know? Um, how would we do it? We would put this on the mattress, right, under the sheet, and then we could put this on top, right? Yes. Can do it like In the this. medical setting, this is how we do it. Okay. This protects the sheets. Okay. And this is just something easy to change and switch it out, and you can leave this one. And stays clean. Right. Like back up. Okay. So that's usually how we have our patients. Um, I pack, like this is not everything. This is not a full list, but this is just some things I thought would be helpful. So these are compression stockings, medical grade compression stockings, which is important. I love the fact these have, have zippers. Zoom in zippers. on this. Look at this has zippers. How nice are these compression and open socks? socks. These are so, super cute. If you ever put on compression socks, they are very difficult to put on. And hopefully this makes it easier. Because imagine if you're able-bodied and healthy and they're hard to put on. Imagine after surgery when you're weak and you can't bend over. Oh my gosh. So yes. you need all the help you can get. Um, these are just some vitamins that I was supposed to be taking. Mm. Just like the folic acid, the iron, because we lose a lot of blood. And vitamins. You want to show those? Oh, I have my iron mixed in. Um, I brought a, what are these, these called? Measure. Tape. Measure and tape. Measure. Yeah. Waist measure. This is for my own personal reasons because I want to see the difference in like how my fluid is building up, um, what kind of fluid I'm retaining, and as my size fluctuates after surgery. So this is for a pre-op. This is HibaCleanse. It's a antiseptic cleanser soap that I'm going to use before surgery. Um, I think a lot of the girls get it from their surgeons, don't yeah. they? Yeah, some of okay. them do, some of them don't. It depends on so I didn't, but I bought it. Um, and that's going to reduce the risk of getting an infection with all the incisions from surgery. This is Arnica cream. I only brought a little one. Uh, that's okay. I didn't have a chance. But that is like the highest potency that's offered. So that's like really concentrated. It's like 35%. Arnica 35? Yeah. Yeah. Um, because I'm not too worried about bruising or pain. Um, and then I just got some gowns because, like, as anticipated, a lot of saturation from blood and different fluids coming from the incisions. And then, of course, gloves so we can reduce risk of infection, mm -hmm. hand sanitizer. This is just like a skin softener. Oh, I found this fun device on Amazon. What is that? The, the um, one to use the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I don't know what it's called though. A oh, female urinal. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I actually have a urinal to collect it in. Oh, So okay. it just looks like this. I haven't used it yet, so I don't know. I hope I do this right. But <laughs> it's supposed to help you not have to sit down. Because oh, okay. I'm assuming I'm going to be in a lot of pain. Yeah. And, you might have to you know. squat with that. And then, of course, just wipes. Regular wipes. Um, for yeah. obvious reasons. And then I brought briefs just because I've seen other girls do it. 